A year ago this week, our lives began to change in ways we could never imagine after Minnesota recorded its very first case of COVID. Today, we asked you to share the last picture on your camera roll before the world changed and share you did. More than a thousand of you responded. We're seeing families and friends, vacations, religious services, restaurants, state tournaments, and lots and lots of unmasked smiles. The common thread? a carefree closeness we will perhaps no longer take for granted. All week we've been sharing stories looking back at this past year, and tonight Chris Harapsky explores what it's been like for so many of us to get through this. Can I ask you a couple questions? There's a feeling on the streets. Yeah, everybody like to talk to the camera. Where strangers don't quite seem like strangers anymore. Is this live? No, no. Not live. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to say. Yeah. Every person in every community shares a new bond of shared struggle. I was a patient with this disease before I ever took care of anybody who had it. And everyone <laughs> has a story to tell. What has it been like in the last year for you? Uh, for me, I've been tested more or less. It's hard to process. I. Uh, the transition's been a lot harder than I think anything we could have like ever imagined or prepared for. I've been really down, depressed. Can't get out like I want to. Ha sido afectado muy mucho, mucho. Nuestra comunidad ha sido muy afectada. I'm in the service industry. I put everybody first. And now we're in a situation where I have to think about myself now. You know, six months of isolation from everybody, you, you start losing uh, your cool a little bit. Like, I got to do something, got to keep myself active, so. It has always been so stable. It's a job that you can literally have anywhere in the world. Um, and to have it shut down is just, it just kind of stops your heart. Like, I never thought that would be possible. What's been the best day and the worst day for you in the last year? My, my husband, cousin died on May. My cousin in July. I, I remember intubating a patient and having to transfer that person outside of the metro area because there were no ICU beds here in the metro. And I remember thinking, not knowing what was coming in the next few weeks and thinking, are we really going to run out of equipment to take care of people? It was March 16th, the day that the governor came on and said there will be no indoor servers tomorrow. And it was just like, I can't believe this is happening. What was the best day in the last year? Uh, I found me a girlfriend. <laughs> yep. Last year been the best part. I'm here, surviving. I was, I was not prepared for how important it felt to get vaccinated. Um, and the day that my parents got vaccinated. If there's one lesson you've learned throughout the pandemic, one lesson, a lifelong lesson, what did you learn in the last year? Definitely to focus more on your future goals rather than living in the moment because sometimes that moment won't happen. Vivir la vida. Valorar la vida. Valorar tu trabajo. Valorar tu familia. Valorar el tiempo. Valorar los amigos. Valorar, valorar absolutamente todo. Porque hoy lo tienes y mañana ya no sabemos. Don't take anything for granted. For the most part, stay positive. We're almost there. We always got to come together as united, as one. If we hit rock bottom, it's stay optimistic. It's really easy to get down about all of this. It's really easy to dwell in the negative. And I, I try really, really hard not to do that. We've come a long way and there is light at the end of the tunnel. Right. It's really, you know, interesting and in some ways traumatic to look back and how we knew so little a year ago. I mean, we right. just said it's probably good we didn't. I think we all can relate to a lot of what yeah. everybody was saying there. Yeah, and I, sure. I like, uh, I don't know if it was a doctor or a nurse saying the day my parents got vaccinated, you know, a lot of us in the station have been saying to each other, my parents, my <laughs> yeah. dad, my mom got their first vaccination mm -hmm. today, so. Yeah, my parents were yesterday, along with my mother-in-law. They all went together. 
So yeah, I mean, it really was a big day yesterday, thinking about that. They're second yesterday, so oh, yeah, we'll see them soon. Better times are coming. Yes, coming. I agree. I agree. Well, it hit.